Welcome to Sundays at Car Wash Factory. I'm Bob Fox from Car Wash College. Today we're going to talk about removing the links from your chain, when to do it, and how to do it safely. A list of supplies we'll need are safety goggles, lockout tagout kit, a come along or a ratchet strap, a punch, and pliers, and a hammer. First step, we're going to go to our motor control center and lock out and tag out our conveyor power pack or the variable frequency driver for running an electric conveyor. Second step is we're going to put on our safety glasses. Next, we're going to go to the carriage and we're going to see where it's positioned on the slide tubes. If there's only about a half inch between the carriage and the back locking set collar on there, we know it's time to remove links. So what we're going to do then is go to our air control panel in our back room, turn the air off, bleed it out, and then we'll go back out to our conveyor and get down into the trench. Taking either our come along or our ratchet straps, we're gonna gain more slack in the chain so links can be removed. If we're using pin and cotter style chain like an old SC78 or a D88K, this is where your hammer, punch, and pliers come in. If we're using log chain, which is one of the more favorite chains of today, it's as simple as removing the 11 pitch section that's currently there and replacing it with a nine pitch section. So once we get our pins and cotters out, we're gonna generally try to remove two links at a time. When we're talking about the air driven conveyors, the log chain and your uh, CX458 chain, we always have to remove two links because of the way the chain lays. One has a horizontal, one has a vertical link. So we have to remove two of those in order for the chain to come back together. Once we successfully placed our nine link section in or removed our two, our two links, we're gonna use our come along or ratchet straps to bring the chain back together and just put it back together the way it came apart. When we do that, we remove all our tools. We make sure everything is out of the conveyor and we'll go back to our air safety panel in the back room and turn the air on. And now our carriage will shift away from that half inch away from that back locking set collar and should set up just about in the middle. Remember, if we don't service our chain on a regular basis when it needs it, if we allow that carriage to back up against that back locking set collar, it can no longer apply tension to the chain because it has no more room of travel. So then we'll get slack in the chain and the chain can come off of the sprocket. And that's something you don't wanna mess with, especially on a busy day. So to summarize, again, we're always gonna look at the carriage in relation to the back locking set collar. We're gonna use a come along or a ratchet strap to gain additional slack on the chain after turning the air off. Remove all the tools from the conveyor before energizing and making sure that everything is good. Taking the links out of your conveyor should only take you really a few minutes depending on the type of chain you use, but if you don't do it, it's gonna cost you hours of downtime. That's all for now. As always, good luck and good washing.